Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's a you, dude, Droy, he ate Baba Bero. And um, I wanted to make this, okay? Not to just show you the screenshots, because I'm not that kind of nigga. I don't upload screenshots. Now, I will make a video providing you with the screenshots, but I really wanted to talk over the information that each screenshot represents. So, basically, all this, you know, you, all this shit came out today, along with a scan. By the way, the Sound 4 are confirmed to be um, the DLC Pack 3 characters uh, on the newest scan. And, um, you know, everybody can stop saying it's a rumor. Because a lot of people were saying, oh, it's just a rumor. Why are people bitching about it now? It's just a rumor. No, it's confirmed now. So, anyways, for DLC Pack 1, the combo ultimate jutsus we're going to be getting is... Asuma and Chikamaru, yeah, they're gonna have their own ultimate. Naruto and Boruto, Hinata, Kiba and Shino, so Team Kurenai, and that's it for combo ultimates on DLC Pack One. For DLC Pack Two, we're gonna be getting Sasuke and Itachi, uh, Team Guy, and then we're gonna be getting Lee and Guy as an ultimate, which is fucking awesome. I actually uh, was a, a little bit upset because I did find out on Revolution. They removed the Lee and Guy team ultimate. They removed it from Revolution. I don't know why, uh, but it was in, uh, uh, it was in the data because you know how a lot of people data mined Revolution and it was in the data that Lee and Guy had a team ultimate. But I guess it was removed from the final build, and uh, that was a shame. But oh well, what can you do? Now for DLC Pack Three, the combo ultimate jutsus that we're gonna be getting is one with the Sound Ninja. All right. One with Sabusa and Haku, and then one with Kisami and, and Sabusa. And the thing with Kisami and Sabusa is that there's going to be the other seven ninja swordsmen that are going to come into the ultimate jutsu, uh, as you guys saw on the screenshots. Now, I really like what they've done with these ultimates. Like, they've they actually gone out of their way to make it look more flashy than they need to be. And I can appreciate that. And I really hope that, you know, this season pass that was announced... Isn't the end of DLC for Storm 4. You get what I'm saying? I really hope they keep supporting the game with more DLC. Because I'm willing to pay for them. As long as they're decent DLC, I'm willing to pay for them. And I won't complain or bitch about it. Because simply simply put, I really do like what Bandai Namco publishes. I do like CyberConnect too. It's just that sometimes they don't make the smartest choices. And you, you kind of have to call them out on that since, you know... If you're a fan, you have to kind of, you know, have a little great line where you're not just fucking being a sheep, right? Buying anything they fucking put out. Now, um, I really hope they come out maybe with a second season pass. Something along the lines of, like, how Mortal Kombat has their Combat Pack 2, which is basically their second season pass. I really hope they do that because, um, uh, you know, so far, I'm really liking the ultimates they have to show us for the DLC packs. And of course, you know, the combo ult ultimates aren't even the only thing on the season pass, so we're getting more shit. I mean, I haven't seen the Sound 4 Ultimate Jutsu yet, but I really hope it's nice too. Anyways, man, I'm done. I only wanted to share that information with you guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.